All right, so I thought I'd do a quick video on this Euro trade. Now, I did point out on Twitter and, yeah, just on Twitter and also to some of my email clients, we've got this very strange formation on the Euro. This is the hourly chart against the 0 0.99 level. Having broken down through parity um, a couple of days ago, we reached down to 0 0.99, back up to parity, with this very strange bullish uh, candle, which took place in a matter of just um, really less than an hour, a few minutes. And then we drifted back down to close to the uh, 0.99 level. And then we had exactly the same reversal pattern, this time pushing back up to parity again, just through it yet again. That's more or less the parity level. And then we've just dipped back down below it. But every time, um, including this one so far, We've dipped back down lower and we've managed to hold up pretty well. And right now we're at this confluence of moving averages and um, forming a uh, potentially bullish reversal pattern on the one hour candles. So you can see I've got two orders in here, um, $20,000 each. That's 0.2 lots. A lot size is $100,000. So that's uh, $20,000 and $20,000. And I'm willing to, It's and so this is a very very small position sizes on this account and I'm willing to add another lot down here back at 0.99 I'm not sure if we'll get there though we might even see one more of these really, really strange uh, reversal patterns but there's obviously some serious buying pressure at 0.99 or just above it and uh, we've had this uh, two hourly candle repetitive pattern just surging up the moment we got anywhere close to there on two separate occasions and both of them have sort of drifted down. This one, not as much after here. We've just drifted down a little bit and then rallied back up again. And now we've drifted back down to this um, uh, 20 period. Uh, well, that's the 50 period moving average. But we've also got the 20 and the 100 period moving average just around this area. So it'll be really interesting to see what happens. I'm willing to add another lot down here at 99.20, somewhere in that region, around about these lows here. And I'll put my stop beneath uh, 0.9875, probably at 9875. I always try and avoid the 80 and 20 levels. Uh, they are natural price magnets, really. And uh, so I don't want to be hovering around exactly at 80 or 20. So my stop loss will be at 9875. Um, I don't have any stop losses in here right now, but uh, I'm about to construct that trade as we start. Now, we've just started the beginning of the uh, New York session, which has actually just started right now as I'm recording this, uh, well, three minutes ago. And um, it'll be interesting to see what happens on stocks. Uh, I see the NASDAQs coming in as I'm talking and um, coming in quite sharply. So that'll put pressure on, on the euro um, as uh, money moves into the US dollar when stocks drop. So let's see see what happens. So far, I think it looks pretty good, pretty bullish. Uh, we've got a bit of a trend line that we could draw there coming up underneath and um, something like this. So we've got a bit of a trend line there. So ideally, we'd like to hold above there. Uh, actually, ideally, we'd like to hold above this 50 period moving average and not move any higher from this point. So that's the structure. Um, if we do manage to um, move up from here and get up and close above parity on a daily chart basis, that's the important thing, then we should see a move up to um, a, a more decent sort of level. You can see we're right around the bottom here. There's that little trend line I drew on the hourly chart. And I'd really like to see a move back up to 1.0350 in the coming days. But um, yeah, so we're going to need to hold above here, really. Basically, that's the situation. Uh, on a daily candle perspective, we've got this sort of inside candle. Uh, so the body of this candle is inside the body of the previous one with a little bit of a spike. Then we get a doji candle, dragonfly sort of doji. And now we've got a uh, an inverse hammer potentially forming. If we get stuck in this range during the rest of the day, right where we are at the moment, we'll have this one down, one up reversal candle pattern which also bodes well for a move higher. And we're pretty well positioned here, quite close to the current price, um, just a few pips down, and I'd like to see a move higher. So I'll keep you 
uh, abreast of this in this video and let you know how it works out as time goes on. So I'm going to pause this video and actually stop it and then I'll start a new video um, a little later on in the day in a few hours time and we'll have a look at where the price is at that time. Yeah, so a quick update on the euro. Um, I think it was a couple of hours ago now. Uh, I actually stepped away from my computer for a little bit. You can see we actually spiked up on that candle um, almost back to uh, parity 1.0000 and this hour candle previous to this one it's almost at the top of the hour 10 minutes to go on this current candle uh, just collapsed back down again but we're still above this trend line and this red line here even though we've broken down through those moving averages which is a pity um, this trend line um, is still intact and this horizontal line is pretty important and you can see we've just bounced off there in this last hour so if we manage to hold this trend line uh, this horizontal line uh, that'll be a good sign and I'd like to see a rally back up to um, this first order and then into the next one and then above there and we'll have to wait and see what happens so far however having said all of that it looks pretty bearish and uh, we may be in for a loss on this trade but with a bit of luck we'll hold above here um, it's interesting as well that this little rally here this one is sort of tried to emulate the shape and the veracity of these two previous rallies uh, you can imagine what that looked like at the top when it reached there it would have been a big white bullish candle um, but we got rejected from the parity level pretty quickly so the fact that we couldn't get up through there is a bit of a concern really but we'll have to wait and see what happens and uh, I'll continue to update you um, bit by bit as we go along with this trade so we're now about two and two hours almost three hours into the trade and we're pretty much where we were when I sent out the last update and I'll keep you informed as we go along right well it's taken some time as you can see we were over here this is about um, six or seven or eight hours ago and since then we've fallen back down to this line that I had drawn in right from the beginning as you can see touched that line it happened to be coincidentally actually um, and I suppose fortuitously where the trend line reached the red line we touched down there formed a bullish reversal candle which closed above both of those moving averages actually all three of them and we've now since rallied up and we're above parity and uh, we're in profit I took the lower trade off remember there were two trades in here one from uh, 99.80 and I took that off for a small profit and I've let this one run so the moment we got up to the second trade and that one reached profit I took off the first one and left the second one in so I've taken a little bit of profit on this trade thereby reducing my risk and I'm letting this one run now remember I said my targets are uh, up here somewhere at about 1.03 and thereabouts so let's just have a look on the day chart my internet's been really slow so I hope this loads up nicely for us uh, yeah there we go so so on the day chart it doesn't look like much on the hour chart you can see it's quite a, a sensible and and uh, dramatic move uh, that red line that we had drawn in on the hour chart also coincides uh, coincides with this previous low from several weeks ago which is also the parity level so or just um, not quite the parity level that was about 99.50 uh, Remember we touched down there, tried to rally back up above 350, didn't manage to get there, fell back down again. Now just below there, it's still kind of a double bottom because um, we've just gone slightly lower than this previous daily chart low. Not very much. It's kind of like a false break, double bottom, exactly what you'd expect to see, trying to flush out some of those bulls by moving below that low where there would have been a lot of stop losses. And we saw that flushing out on the hourly chart uh, candles which I showed you earlier in the video so now we're starting to move up if we can get up to um, oh, 1.0350 uh, that would be good that would be two or three percent profit this trades at roughly one to one leverage uh, in hindsight I could have left the second trade and that would have been double the profit but I wanted to minimize the risk on this trade so there we go we're off to the races we've got Fed uh, speak a little bit later on um, in about eight hours time seven and a half hours time from where we are right now it'll be 2 p.m. Eastern time in the US so uh, with a bit of luck 
we'll start to move higher and we may have formed a new bottom here. So um, who knows? Still in a downward trend. We're beneath the 50 moving average, beneath the 20 period moving average, beneath the 100 and way beneath the 200 period moving average. So it's still a downward trend, very definitely so. But we're playing off the bottoms, hoping for a mean reversion back to some of these moving averages. And hopefully even the 100 period moving average, which will meet the 1.0350 level on its way down in days to come. Right, so it's another hour and a bit, two hours later, and the euro is now testing this high over here. And it looks like we've just broken above it, so that's very good uh, news. And we're into some a little bit more profit right now. I'm aiming for about three to four hundred dollars on this trade, which would be about two to three percent, or three three four hundred dollars to six hundred dollars, about two to three percent. So we're at about $60 at the moment. And if we can just hold above this high over here and move slightly higher and get through this uh, hourly chart, 200 day, 200 hour moving average, uh, then we should be on our way because we've broken above the major resistance. We haven't closed above there just yet, but we're uh, moving up towards it. But we can get through this 200 period moving average on the hourly chart. It'll be... Um, well, it should be pretty plain, plain sailing up until about 1.0120 and maybe 1.02 thereabouts. And it looks like quite a big move on the hourly chart. But if you have a look at the daily chart, um, you can see it's only just starting to get going. So there's plenty of space to the upside for us to move higher. And we're looking forward to that. So uh, we'll keep on monitoring this as we move along. Okay, so the trade going beautifully. We're 130 odd dollars in the profit now. So, uh, so far so good. Uh, so it just shows the benefits of being patient. And we'll try and get this one up to about two, three, four hundred dollars. So I'll check in with you as we go along. Right, right. So I, I scalped out, I took profit at $130. I scalped out a little bounce when we pulled back if you were watching this you will have seen it and uh, i then got back into the trade and we're another 12 dollars up so i got 23 dollars from the scalp trade 130 from the original trade that starts at the beginning of this video and now i'm in this trade for a longer term swing up to these levels so so far we've got 130 plus about 30 uh, so about 160 dollars plus this 10 or 12 right now. So it's $170 out of this trade, uh, which is approaching 1% of this um, particular account. So um, I think I'm going to close this off now and put these videos together for you. Uh, and bear in mind, my target is around, well, all the way back to 1.0350, the, uh, the level that we've been struggling with for a very long time. And maybe with a bit of luck, this time we can break through it and get up to back up to 1.08 but time will tell uh, we've got the Jackson Hole thing coming up shortly and the Fed and Papa Powell having a go at trying to encourage everyone to be secure in the current market conditions and the inflation in the economy it's going to be a tough job so I'm going to string all this together and get this going for you hope you enjoy it it's a good example of a long ish wait for a decent swing trade and how to set up a position for an ultimate target of two three or four percent on your trading account which is really a very good month's target one single trade of course i'm in different trades at the same time but this is just one example of the way i play this sort of thing take care and i'll speak to you soon